Barry, the, the thing that comes up a lot, I know you probably got this, and I still get this when we talk with other um, building trades and, and uh, associations. Waterproofing has always been the poor cousin or distant cousin for the fact that we don't have a recognised trade. As a manufacturer, um, we've got no choice but to go and run our own courses and certify applicators because with our, with our systems because it's not a national issue or national uh, demand or um, that you have to be a Cert 3 applicator. Unlike if I was an electrician, I'd have to have a license. If I was a bricklayer, I'd have to have that, a tiler. But for waterproofing, we don't have that as a recognised trade. Is that where a lot of it comes unstuck? Um, it does. And it doesn't. Yeah. Uh, there's two sides to that question. Um, first of all, sure, we don't have a, a, a recognised trade. And we don't have a recognised trade, trade because we don't have the modules and the technical um, information to make that into a, a recognised trade. So we only we have a number of uh, Australian standards for waterproofing, mm -hmm. um, but they're only uh, minor in, in, in detail and technical information. Mm -hmm. um, so until somebody actually sits down and writes a full uh, uh, course on water on waterproofing, we mm -hmm. can't have a trade. 